Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. Jordanians and guests are expected to spend up to 4 million Jordanian dinars on sweets during Eid al-Futr holiday, including some 1.7 million on Mamoul, the holiday's traditional dessert. Raid Hamada, president of the Jordan Association for Restaurants and Sweets shop owners, said although some big families with limited income still hold on to the tradition of preparing Mamoul at home, many choose to buy the sweet cake stuffed with a date base, walnut or pistachio from sweet stores. Key consumer electronics retailer in the UAE are looking to cash in on the e-shopping frenzy, with most offering good discounts and bundled offers to entice tourists and residents alike. They expect smartphones to steal limelight, followed by laptops and TVs. Some retailers are offered close to 1,000 dirhams as cashback on bundled offers on smartphones and 4,000 dirhams as bundled offers on TVs. Qatar has unveiled the biggest industrial and logistics park projects for the southern part of the country. About 1,853 plots of land stretching over an area of 6,330,000 square meters will be developed in Al Wakra, Birkat, Al Awamir, and Abbas Salil. The project will house assembly units called unfrozen storage units, showrooms and shops, commercial offices, labor camps, workshops, warehouses for cars, service centers, and depots. And now let's have a look at the stock markets. Most Gulf markets were up, though most investors in the region already began celebrating the Eid al Fitr holiday. Abu Dhabi edged up 0.6%, Dubai climbed 1.2%, Kuwait and Muscat inched up 0.1%, and the main Saudi index rose 0.6%, while Egypt slipped one5 and Qatar was almost flat. That's all for today's business news. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Arab Business and bye for now.